This is KNBC 9 First News on KCWE with Donna Pittman, Matt Fleener, Haley Harrison, First Alert Weather with meteorologist Neville Miller, Traffic with Nikki Vivas, and Johnny Rollins in News Chopper 9. It is 8 o'clock. Live pictures, Pleasant Valley Church in Liberty. And for two hours now, voters in the Show Me states have been streaming into the polls. A look at what we can expect in Missouri, also across the country, as hundreds of delegates are up for grabs. Plus, it is a sound that you will be hearing today. Tornado sirens on both sides of the state line when you can expect to hear those tornado drills in your area. And investigators back at the scene of that derailment in western Kansas. What they're hoping to find, two people who were on that train are still in critical condition this morning. It's 8 o'clock and we are glad that you're with us this Tuesday super Tuesday morning. I'm Donna Pittman. And I'm Haley Harrison. Yeah, a lot of voting happening today. Uh, but before people go to the polls, they want to know, do I need to take an umbrella with me this morning, Neville? Hey, well, Haley and Donna, if you're going to be voting this afternoon, I would say yes. If you're voting this morning, I think you're going to be fine. Maybe just grab a light jacket. We've got temperatures in the 50s currently. We're at 54 degrees in Kansas City, Olathe and uh, Lee Summit. Also, we're at 55 in Leavenworth, 55 degrees in Warrensburg, 53 in Odessa. A little chillier in St. Joe. We've got 49 degrees. Now, as far as Rain, we're not seeing any right now. We have a little batch of thunderstorms roll across northern Kansas, northern Missouri. Some pretty strong storms very early this morning. Now they're well off to our northeast, moving out of Iowa into Illinois. That's pretty far north and east of us. So we just have these high mid-level clouds coming in for now. I do think we're going to see a mix of clouds and sun for today. Then another chance of thunderstorms for the afternoon to the evening. So your forecast for today, 59 degrees, 9 o'clock, 66 at lunchtime. Thunderstorms this afternoon with strong northwest breezes. Donna. All right, it is 8.02 right now, and let's get back to Nikki Vivas with a look at the Tuesday Drive. Hi. Good morning. We're going to take a quick peek on the Kansas side now, I-35 75th Street, where normally this time of the morning it is pretty heavy, and you're seeing this northbound run lighten up, actually. Southbound not too bad either, and some drive times. Blue Springs, the I-70 run is a little slow, so be prepared for that. Six minutes from 635 to downtown and 69 Highway, no complaints in that area. Over to you. All right, let's get back to our Commitment 2016 coverage. It's the biggest day left in the presidential primaries and so much at stake. Five delegate-rich states are holding contests today. Florida, Ohio, Illinois, North Carolina, and right here in Missouri. ABC's Kenneth Moten has a preview of today's primaries. It's here, the day that could be a critical turning point in the race for president. This is a place I want to win. This is the place. This is going to do it. GOP frontrunner Donald Trump was in the winner-take-all state of Ohio overnight, attacking its governor and his rival John Kasich. Kasich cannot make America great again. Can't do it. The Stop Trump movement is in full effect. This country is not about us tearing one another down. Rivals spent election eve seizing on the recent violence at Trump's rallies. But look, a Bernie Sanders sign. Don't worry, you're not going to get beat up in my rally. One difference between this and a Donald Trump rally is I'm not asking anyone to punch you in the face. Trump's response to these images? There's no violence. There's love fest. These are love fest. Trump's likely Democratic opponent, Hillary Clinton, called him out. I do call him responsible. I think if you go back now several months, he's been building this incitement. Clinton rallied late into the night in Charlotte. Bernie Sanders was in Chicago, far behind in the delegate count, but confident. Let us see this great state help lead the country into a political revolution. Kenneth Moten reporting there. No candidates have planned stops in Missouri today. Clinton, Rubio and Trump will be in Florida. Kasich will be in Ohio. Sanders is looking ahead to Arizona and Cruz will be in his home state of Texas. And in Missouri, polling places open about two hours ago. Voters filing in before work to cast their ballots. KBC 9's Matt Evans is live at Pleasant Valley Baptist Church where Matt, you've been there all morning. You've seen a steady stream and you've mentioned that the before work crowd likely nothing compared to the folks that uh, will head to the polls after work. That, that's absolutely right, Donna. You can expect probably some a uh, lot longer lines later on in the day for people trying to leave work and trying to cast their ballots 
on their way home. Before work is when you don't have to deal with too many lines. There was a line at 6 o'clock when polls first opened, but now voters filing in and out relatively quickly here at the Pleasant Valley Church up in Liberty. This is a big day not only for the state of Missouri, but for four other states voting in the primaries. It's also a very, very big day for the presidential primary itself. This the biggest day left on the primary calendar of more than a thousand delegates at stake for both the Republicans and the Democrats. Here in Missouri, it's an open primary. That means you don't have to be registered for uh, a registered Democrat or a registered Republican to vote in either one of those states' primaries. You go to your polling place as long as you're a registered Missouri voter. You can tell them which ballot you would like to vote for, which party you would like to vote for. And here in Missouri, there are 71 delegates for Democrats up for grabs, 52 delegates for Republicans up for grabs today. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump uh, showing that slight leads in, in some polls here in the show me state leading up to today's primary. So that's uh, certainly uh, one thing that we'll watch today, but we can also can I can bet it will probably be a close race. That's what a lot of people are anticipating, not only here, but in several of the other states that are voting today as well.